is happening and welcome to another four-wheel drive talk episode actually episode 35. now friends if you want a ford bronco but you want a big one well mega rex has you covered with a f-250 bronco mashup called the mega bronco we're going to discuss this badass truck here in just a moment now we'll also take a look at the current fuel prices and see how it's impacting the sales of rvs in the data I'm just gonna say this, it might surprise you. There's news from Enyos as well, which is developing a hydrogen fuel powered powered Grenadier to test later on this year. All of that is here in just a bit, but first friends, every single week, we put a video like this together to keep you informed as far as what is happening in the industry. Now, of course, if we are successful and you find some value or hell, you just wanna do us a solid and hit that like button, crushing it really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, my friends, let's uh, shift gears and uh, get on to this week's headlines. Now, if you have seen the new Ford Bronco that hasn't been modified, it looks a little bit, let's be real here, it looks small. I remember the first time I saw one of the Broncos, I'm like, damn, that doesn't look like what it does in the, in the photos. They're, they're really small. But man, do the modified Broncos look absolutely badass. Now, one of the newest uh, modded Broncos is called the Mega Rex Mega Bronc. And as you might have guessed it from the name, sometimes the name really does says it best. This thing is huge. Now, this big rig takes some of the new Bronco styling features and puts them on an F-250 body. Now, the result is a Frankenstein F-250 Bronco mashup with four doors, three rows of seats, and room for seven people. Now, underneath the hood is a massive 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8 that puts out 475 horsepower and a whopping 1,050 pounds of torque. Now, the engine is paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission, which, considering where fuel prices are these days, that 10 speeds is gonna be gold right there. Now, the Mega Bronc has 40-inch tires, re-geared front and rear differentials, and a wider track for added stability. Now you can have all of this for uh, $224,950. So if you have nearly a quarter million dollars burning a hole in your pocket and you want a big old truck to tear it up off road, check the description for a low or below rather to a link to sign up for Mega Bronc. Now, if you head out on overlanding adventures in a RV or you pull a trailer, you know the sting of frequent expensive fuel stops. So you would think that with the gas prices as high as they are, that the demand for RVs and trailers would be going down yet friend they have not the recreation vehicle industry association reports that 2021 was a record year for rv sales in fact the sales of 2021 were up 39 percent from 2020 and the rapid pace seems to be continuing so far in 2022 through april of this year rv shipments are even higher than they were back in 2021 which of course was a really good year. Now, a recent survey of RV owners revealed that one quarter of RV owners will continue with their summer plans despite the high gas prices. That's a significant number of RVs and trucks pulling trailers to, that really get single digit uh, fuel economy. With no end in sight of these gas prices, it looks like those of us that enjoy the great outdoors are going to have to bite the bullet and simply pay more for overlanding and off-road adventures that we love so much. Now this is exciting. You may recall, uh, geez, a few months ago, uh, we discussed the Enyos Grenadier, a retro SUV that looks like an old school Land Rover Defender. This thing is absolutely badass. Now, according to reports, this unique SUV is eventually gonna be offered as an EV, which is pretty stinking awesome. Now, apparently the Enyos is testing a battery powered model and a hydrogen fuel cell powered model as well. Now, the hydrogen power option is Interesting to say the list, fuel cells weigh less than batteries and they offer greater capacity than battery packs. However, EVs are really way off. It's gonna be at least five years before an EV Grenadier is ready to go. Heck, we're not gonna even see a gas powered Grenadier in the US until sometime next year, which is a big fat bummer. Again, when I first saw this, I was like, wow, that is one cool looking truck there. But anyways, in the meantime, you can check out a gas powered Grenadier by following a link in the description below if you want more information. 
All right, now that we got the headlines out of the way, it's time to reveal our winners of our latest giveaway. Jay Cooper, you win the Camp Moon Camping Folding Chair. Susan Vowell, you win the Powerlix Sleeping Bag. And Zach Cornish, you win the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, a big thank you goes out to everybody that participated in the giveaway. Now, if you were one of the lucky three winners, be sure to check the contest rules in the description below to uh, get all the details of how you can claim your prize. Now, if you didn't win a prize, your opportunity to order the fun starts again right now with three new prizes. As a matter of fact, here are the batch of prizes that we have this time around. We have a Max Toolkit from Force Tool Company. We have three Mountain House meals and a $100 Amazon gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video, subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chance that you have to win. So, heck, get watching some other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on four-wheel drive talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site already during one of the last uh, giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But friend, as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello, we would love to see you. And that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on four-wheel drive talk or how to say hello in the forum. Check out the description below. Good luck. And friends, there you go. Four-wheel drive talk episode 35 is in the bag as always. It is such an honor. It's such a blast getting in front of you and kind of jibber-jabbering a little bit about what is happening during the past week here. Now, of course, that's not, is that time of the video where, friend, I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? We'd love to have you part of the family. And heck, you might as well hit the like button. That, we established that early on in this video. And so therefore, you don't miss a single video that we come out with. Hit that bell so YouTube does all that uh, reaching out to you and let you know that the video is live. Friends, well, that's all I have here for you today. So I'm going to be jumping on my studio. You get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure. <laughs>